everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to highlight max and min values on your visuals. You can highlight these values in your column chart or your bar chart. You can also highlight these values in your table or also on a line chart. So let's get started with this tutorial. I've added a table here which has subcategory and total sales and let's create a measure now. I'm going to call this measure as highlight is equals to Let's start by defining in a variable here. First of all, I would like to identify what is my maximum value in the table that I have here. So let's define a variable here called max value is equals to, I will be using the max x function here. The first argument here is to define a table. So I'm going to use the all selected option here so that I can pass in the column that I am using in my table, which is subcategory. And then I'm going to close the bracket here for all selected followed by a comma in the expression field. I'm going to type in my total sales here and then close the bracket on the next line here. I'm going to type in the return statement and say max values. What I want to return is the max value that we are identifying here. And then I'm going to click on confirm. So let us see what this particular measure returns. So I'm going to bring in the highlight here into my table. And you can see that it's returning the value 9,89,126. And let me quickly solve the total sales here. The highest value in the total sales field is also 9,89,126. And that is being repeated here across all the subcategories that we have here. We wanted to identify the max value and we have succeeded in doing so. Let's quickly go back to our measure now. And let's use an if statement here to check if my max value is equals to the sales value of my subcategory. So I'm going to say max value is equals to total sales, then return the max value, else return a blank. I'm going to close the bracket here and confirm. And now you can see that we have only returning the value here wherever it matches the maximum value. And on the rest of the subcategories here, it is returning blank. And now I can simply go back here and instead of returning the max value, I can enter an hex value here, which will be used to highlight the category. So I'm not going to use any hex code here, but if you want, you can use an hex code. I'm just going to say green here and then click on confirm. And now you can see that it is now returning green. Now, like the way we identified the maximum value here, we should also identify the lowest value or the minimum value here. So let's quickly do that as well. So to do that, I'm going to define another variable here. I'm going to call this as minimum underscore value is equals to, I'm going to copy the entire st statement here, paste that here instead of max X, I'm going to use min X here in this case. And then let's make some changes to our return statement because we don't want this return statement now. Instead, I'm going to use a switch statement here and then say true followed by a comma. If my maximum value is equals to total sales, then return green comma. And then my value to here, my minimum value is equals to total sales, then return red. Now remember, if you don't like the colors that are standard here, in this case, green and red, and if you'd like to choose a different shade of green or red, you can enter the hex code here in the place of green, and that hex code will be used to highlight the bars. Make sure that this is double code and not single code. And now I'm going to close the bracket here for the switch statement and click on confirm. Let's close this. And now when I scroll down here, you will see that for the lowest value or the minimum value here, it is returning the value red. And for the highest value, it is returning the value green. Now let's quickly change this into a column chart. And now that I have my column chart, let me quickly sort this here by category. Let me sort this by subcategory. And now let's go back to our columns here. Under columns, I have this little FX button here, which is used for conditional formatting. From the format style dropdown, I'm going to choose field value. And the field value here, I'm going to search for the highlight measure that we created and then click on OK. And now you will see that we have now started to highlight the maximum and the minimum value on your column chart. Once we have done this on your column chart, you can simply click 
on line chart here if you would like to highlight the values on your line chart and then if you want to sort this by subcategory you can do so and now you have your maximum value and your minimum value highlighted on your line chart as well and now let's say for example if you want to do this on your table you can simply convert this into a table now but notice that we don't have the formatting anymore so let's quickly get rid of the highlight column that we have here and then head over to the cell elements under subcategory let's turn on the background color under rules for under format style here choose field value and here select the measure that we created click on ok and now our subcategory is highlighted if you want to repeat the process here select total sales enable background color click on fx button from the format style click field value and now select highlight here and then click on ok and now you have your maximum value highlighted as well as your minimum value highlighted if i quickly sort this by subcategory you will see both of them in one view so this was a quick tutorial on how to highlight your max and min values on your visuals so that's it guys in this particular tutorial i hope you found this tutorial helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials